That is mind blowing. Yeah, that is truly, one. truly mind blowing. And do you know when? Do you know when uh, Peter Higgs actually? So the day that the, the discovery was announced at CERN, packed auditorium, and Peter was there, and a, a journalist went up to him afterwards, and just what I've said. This is what happened. This machine did it. He found this thing, and they said, "How do you feel, Professor Higgs?" And he said, "It's very nice to be right sometimes." That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and w- that stuff is supposed to be just immeasurably heavy, right? Oh, the atomic nuclei. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if if you look at, so an astrophysical example would be a, a neutron star, which is basically a big nucleus, nuclear dense material. The the end point of a of a collapsed star when it's run out of fuel. Um, if it's not too big, if it's too big, it'll turn into a black hole. So a neutron star would be uh, the oh, what, one and a half times the mass of the sun, let's say something like that. But it would be a radius of ten miles, so it would easily fit in the LA metropolitan area, right? But it would have the mass of the sun or greater. So that's an atomic nucleus density. That's how you can imagine it. Something as massive as the sun compressed into something 10 miles across. And we see these things all over the, the yeah. universe. Neutron stars are fascinating things. 